What's going on everybody? Tom here with Keto Lifestyle and welcome to today's video. Now the dish that we're going to be making today is something called pho. And for those of you that don't know, pho is a Vietnamese noodle soup that is typically made with a beef broth base, some rice noodles, and then there's typically some type of meat and vegetables mixed into it. Now, since we're on a ketogenic diet, obviously the rice noodles are a big no-no, and there's usually some sugar in there that we're obviously not going to be adding. But if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned for this ketogenic take on the Vietnamese pho. For anyone interested, the written recipe is on your screen now. We're going to start by toasting our spices, and to do this, we're going to start with one stick of cinnamon, two whole cloves, two star anise, about five black peppercorns, one teaspoon of fennel seed, and one teaspoon of coriander seed. And we're just going to lightly toast this over a medium high heat until they start to get a nice golden brown color. You don't want to go too dark or it'll taste bitter. Once our spices are toasted, we're going to go ahead and add them to a spice bag. Since I don't have any, I'm taking a section of cheesecloth, adding the toasted spices to it, and then I'm going to carefully fold it up. Once folded, I'm going to tie it off with a piece of butcher twine, or in my case, just the string from a tea bag. Make sure you tie it tight enough that the seasonings do not escape. As a side note, a large tea infuser, like my manatee here, will definitely do the trick. Now we're going to take that spice bag that we just made and put it directly into our crock pot or instant pot, followed by half of an onion that I have cut into quarters. We're then going to add eight ounces of beef. This is just some beef chuck roast. Next up is a one to two inch piece of ginger that has been peeled and cut in half lengthwise. To this, we are going to add one and a half tablespoons of fish sauce. Then go ahead and throw two teaspoons of salt right into your instant pot. The last bit of flavoring going into this is garlic. And I'm adding one teaspoon of minced garlic. This definitely works better if you have one whole clove of garlic, but I didn't have any, so I used minced garlic instead. And to fill the pot up, we are going to be using two quarts of some type of bone broth. This is just an organic beef bone broth. Find the stuff that is the highest fat content that you can, but you are going to need eight cups or two quarts of that. Should you decide that you do not want to use a boxed bone broth, you can always go out and buy a couple pounds of soup bones. I would say two to three pounds should work, and then fill it with eight cups of water. The cooking process in the pressure cooker will create the bone broth out of the soup bones and the water that you added. At this point, you can seal up your pressure cooker or crock pot. For the pressure cooker, we're going to cook on high pressure for 35 minutes, or for a crock pot, just cook it all day. While that's cooking, we're going to slice up some onion as thin as possible. For this, I prefer using a mandolin since my knife skills aren't great. I'm also going to slice up one jalapeno pepper. And this is all going to be added to a plate that I'm going to serve alongside my soups. I also enjoy lime in my pho, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this into about eight pieces per lime. I'm also going to add about a handful of bean sprouts to the plate, followed by a little bit of Thai basil. Now we're going to cut the remaining eight ounces of beef as thin as we possibly can. This is much easier if the steak has been in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes. My cook time is up and it has depressurized for about 20 minutes. It is now time to vent the remaining pressure in the cooker. Once it is safe, we're going to crack this baby open and enjoy the wonderful smell of the pho that we have just made. Now that amazingly tender piece of beef right there is going to get pulled out of the instant pot and let cool because we are going to need it as we assemble our pho. In a bowl, we're going to take a serving of cone jack noodles or extra bean sprouts, whatever you prefer. This will be the rice noodle substitute. To that, we're going to add a few pieces of the thinly sliced beef that we cut. Keep in mind that this is raw, but the boiling hot broth is going to cook this as you pour it in. Now I'm going to add a little bit of white onion and a little bit of green onion, followed by some of that beef that came out of the pressure cooker from earlier. Now we are going to add the broth. Keep an eye on that rare meat that we put in there and watch how I add the broth as it slowly starts to cook. If you've let your broth sit too long, make sure you heat it up because it needs to be hot in order for this to occur. Otherwise, it's not going to be safe to eat. 
As far as toppings go, I'm going to add a little bit of bean sprouts, a few jalapenos, the juice of one of those sections of lime, so this is one eighth of a lime, a couple sprigs of Thai basil, and a squirt of sriracha. So now check it out. Go and hit that like button if you think this picture looks delicious. And now that you guys have seen the recipe, we are here for the taste test. But first, what I have over here is a plate of common toppings. So usually there's some lime, some bean sprouts, some Thai basil, jalapeno, and sometimes some extra onions. Now be careful with the onions. Um, the bean sprouts are about one net carb for a quarter cup, so you're usually good there. Sometimes I'll even drop the noodles and just put all bean sprouts in here. Um, from there, pretty much everything else should be familiar. So the way you would eat this is chopsticks for the noodles and meat, and then there's usually a spoon or the bowl can be drank out of for the broth. Um, if you've never had it, I'm gonna give it a bite and try to explain the flavors, um, but it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Now for those of you that have had pho before, the broth is fantastic. The noodles are almost the perfect match for rice noodles, but you will notice that the konjac is a little bit more brittle than a rice noodle would be. Other than that, it is perfect and the broth is tasty. If you have never had pho before, the way I can describe the broth is it's almost like a fatty beef broth with a little bit of a black licorice or celery undertone. I know that doesn't sound fantastic and I apologize, I wish I had a better way to describe it. Um, I'm not like a sommelier of food, but trust me when I say it, it is delicious, so you really should try this. With that guys, I'm gonna close the video. If you have not subscribed yet, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, leave it a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next one.